If you've purchased MaxQDA Plus, you'll also have the add-on tool Max Dictio. So if you look up in the drop-down menus, if you have Max Dictio there, you know you have MaxQDA Plus. And Max Dictio is set up to help you do analysis in the direction of quantitative content analysis. So analyzing word frequencies, creating dictionaries, and counting those dictionary words. So in this first aspect of the tutorial, we're going to talk about word frequencies. And you bring those up simply by clicking on the Word Frequencies option in the Max Dictio dropdown. The first option you have is to set a minimum number of characters, which uh, usually makes sense. Uh, if you have, I mean, there aren't going to be very many important words that have fewer than three characters. You can also choose to only search or only look for word frequencies within those documents that are activated. So if I only wanted to analyze the interviews that I did in New York, I would want to activate New York and then select only activated documents. I can also do a word frequency uh, analysis of the results in retrieve segments window. So if I've activated some documents and some codes, I'll have those instances of those codes in those documents, we call those retrieve segments. And we may want to do a uh, word frequency analysis just of those results. And that's possible by selecting only in retrieve segments. The next option is to apply a stop list. And a stop list is simply a list of words that are not to be included, that aren't to be counted. And uh, you're given a standard list, which includes some of the most common words. Uh, but you can also add to that stop list as you go along. And we'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. The last option is to set differentiation. If there's no differentiation, you'll have all of your words uh, counted for all of your documents combined. You can also then differentiate by document to see how often certain words appear in different documents, or by document sets. So if you've set it up so you have document sets for just the women and just the men, you could compare how women and men use different vocabulary uh, during their interviews. In this case, let's just use the standard no differentiation. When we click on OK, Max Dictio goes through all the documents, in this case 16 documents, counts the over 30,000 words, and uh, over 5,500 unique words. And right here you can see we're sorting by frequency. You can tell because the arrow is next to it. As with any spreadsheet aspects of MaxQDA, we can sort according to any of the headers. So if I click on frequency, we're sorting by frequency. Okay, and we can see that the most commonly used word in this list is life. It shows us that it's four characters long, it appears 613 times in our 16 documents, and it makes up just over 2% of the total vocabulary in those documents. Uh, now you'll notice that some words aren't here, like the. The would certainly have appeared more often than life, uh, but that's one of those words that's been added to our stop list. And to add a word to a stop list, all you have to do is double click on the green diamond right next to it. So this word, but, is not important to me, so I'm going to double click next to it. You can see that a stop sign of sorts has appeared. It's now been added to the stop list and will not be included. So let's add a couple more. And just to test it out, we'll close this and run the word frequency count again with the same settings. And now the word but is gone. Okay, so what can you do with this list? Uh, besides having the opportunity to export to Excel or HTML, uh, you can also dig in to the results. So you can say, I want to know, uh, or I want to see everywhere that the word life appears. So I right click on it and choose search results. And what this does is it shows us for each row there's a hit. So everywhere the word life appears in all of my documents. So if we just take an example here, here's a situation where the word life appeared in the document Mary, which is in the document group New York. Now we can see it here. So I'll close my word frequency box. 
and I can just jump from one hit to the next and see where the word life appeared. You can also use these results to autocode, and that will be covered in a different tutorial. So, with Max Dixio word frequencies, you can very quickly find out what the most commonly used words are, you can add words to a stop list, you can sort based on the different columns, and you can go through and see each instance, each hit, in context with the search results. Thank mm -hmm. you.